For this example, we're going to express this trigonometry into the form of compound angle of cos. So you can notice that this is our single cos minus single sine, where this sine, this pattern of expression is cannot be solved. So we have to express to the form of r cos theta plus alpha. So for the first step, we're going to use our compound angle formula. Compound angle formula for cos, where cos A plus B, it will be cos A cos B minus sine A sine B. So multiply with R together, so it will be R cos A cos B minus R sine A sine B. B is alpha. Then you can start compare in order to find out what is our R and alpha. So we need to compare to get two equations here. So x cos theta, you can see the cos theta, the multiplication or the coefficient of cos theta is 3. So 3 will be equals to r cos alpha. That will be our first equation. r cos alpha equals to 3 when we compare to the cos theta term. Then when we compare to the sine data, when we compare to the sine data in this term, you can notice that the multiplier or the coefficient for sine data is 4. So it means R sine alpha is equals to 4. So now we have two equations. We're going to simplify these two equations in order to get what is our alpha and what is our r. So to get r, we're going to square our equation. So that we can get identity to simplify the cos and sine. Factorize our r square here. So you have cos square plus sine square alpha. So this cos square and sine square alpha will give you value of 1. So this is how we can get r. So r square is equal to 25. We simplify here. r will be positive negative square root of 25 it is 5 so you notice that our own our expression here only accept r greater than 0 so when r greater than 0 answer is 5 then we proceed to solve the equation and then to get the unknown of alpha so to get the unknown of alpha we are going to get the term of tangent. So to get tangent, we're going to take sine over cos. So equation 2 over equation 1. At the same time, you can notice that the constant r, it can be eliminated. So tangent alpha equals to 4 over 3. So what is the basic angle alpha this? It will be shift tangent. 4 over 3 then we done so we managed to express this single cos and single sine in term of compound angle so lastly we rewrite the expressions where 3 cos theta minus 4 sine theta can be equals to substitute our r 5 and substitute our alpha which is 53.13